hey and what's up guys welcome back to a new video today i just want to share the new updates that samsung has just pushed to improve the fingerprint scanner now before we get into that i just want to share my experience about the fingerprint scanner and the issues that i've had with it firstly i did not have much of an issue about uh, accuracy which means it rarely told me that it's not uh, that it's a no match i would just put my fingerprint on the on the screen and it would unlock eventually but the problem that i had which is pretty big it was with the speed the speed of it was not very great now really i don't have to be honest with you a, uh, a video to show you of a demonstration of how slow it was but really suffice it to say that sometimes before i need to unlock it i need to hold my, my thumb on the screen for a very long time sometimes up to three seconds before it actually unlocks and that was a big issue for me I thought really at the time that it was basically just a uh, basically a first gen product as you know when a new company jumps the gun on a new you know a new technology just to implement it to be the first you have issues but Samsung just pushed a new update which is a 6.9 megabytes update that seems to have fixed most of this issue and the phone now really unlocks beautifully now just to show you uh, the updates version that I have uh, we should just go ahead and unlock. As you can see, it's it's instantaneous. Let's go into settings, biometrics and security. Then you find biometrics preferences. Now, once you go into biometrics preferences, this is where you find the fingerprints version, 2.0.8.4. This is the updated version. The earlier version was 2.4. Point another number. I don't remember what it was, but. This is the new number, 2.0.8.4. The old one is 2.0.4. So basically, this update is not a system update. Some, a lot of people I've seen on Reddit and a lot of other places that they go into software updates and they look into updates. Uh, by the way, I'm on the March update, the one that fixes the deep sleep issue, which has been fixed for me too because I had that problem too. As you can see here, this is not where you will find the update. The thing is, you actually can't even force the update itself. You can't. The only way to check for the update is to go into the Galaxy Store, which is here, for example. You go in. Now, again, a lot of people said that you need to go into this and my page, then you will find it in the update section. It's not. It's not actually going to show up here at all. The thing is, if you want to basically just check if your phone has received the update, all you have to do is launch the Galaxy Store. That's what happened for me. Once I launched the Galaxy Store, the update popped up here. And it said biometrics security patch that's it and and even when it showed here i went into the my page uh and then updates and it did not even show here it just shows here shows up here it says urgent updates you can swipe it you can't remove it you it basically won't miss it once it's pushed out you will have it you can't cancel the download once you start it and that's it you you hit the uh the the, the update button you hit it a small message here it says basically the update 6.9 megabytes and uh, it basically starts it, it's downloaded in a few seconds, it's applied, the phone doesn't even need to restart. That's the beauty of it. You immediately notice the difference. It's like one of the best updates that probably ever arrived on a phone in the history of Samsung. And just to show you a few, a, a little bit of how the update works, it's really that good. It's not even a placebo effect. Now, this is basically from a dark screen with always on display, I'm telling you this because I'm going to show you the way to make it even almost basically instantaneous. If you have always on display activated, it, it makes it a little bit slower, a little bit. And I'm going to show you. Now, right now, as you can see, the screen is off. Everything is off the phone. And just, just tap it. And it goes. As you can see, just tap the phone and it comes in. And as I said, that little bit of delay that you can see, usually it tells you to keep your finger longer. But this, this little bit of delay that you see is for the always on display because again, the always on display is on the one tap. So basically when you hit the screen, when you tap it the first time, it prompts the always on display to turn on. Then it tells you, then it knows that you actually scanned your finger and it, and it unlocks uh, instantaneously. It's pretty fast. But if we go inside and we disable, just to show you, I, I'm not saying disable uh, always on display, but just to show you go into this the uh i believe it's in lock screen if we disable always on display now watch this there is no always on there is nothing you just just hit it and it's basically it i mean it's really that fast it's actually quite quite remarkable how much uh, how, how much of a difference it makes and back in the day 
if I just tap it lightly, as I'm doing right now, it would not unlock. It would tell me keep your finger longer or something like that or no match. But now it's not even, you don't even have to press. You just put it in. And if you use the lock screen, which is like this, I mean, just, just touch it. It's, 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 it's better than the, the, the iPhone, the, 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 the Galaxy S10e. I mean, it's, it's instantaneous, as you can see. I mean, you just touch it. It's, it's almost like there is no fingerprint scanner. I mean, it's almost like it's a lie, <laughs> I would say. It's literally that fast. I mean, you just, you just do it. And if you have, as I said, if you have the, uh, the always on display, it's, it's basically none because, I, because I don't have the always on display. It just unlocks. It's like, it's that much faster. Now, if we go into the, uh, this one, I just had this idea. If we go here, uh, basically, and uh, I'm now in the fingerprint unlock, I'm going to disable this one and see how much difference it makes. Because basically when you tap the screen, it gives you that, that little uh, thing. So let me just do this and, uh, okay, let's go. I mean, this thing is like, it's that much faster. And as I said, the problem that I've had before is that when the phone is sitting for too long, it actually, it almost needs like three seconds of me holding the screen, the, the, the thumb on my phone for it to unlock. But now, I mean, you just, you just hit it and it just goes in. And from the lock screen, I mean, you just, you just, you just, you just touch it like this and it's, and it's in. It's like, so basically now it almost doesn't miss it. And my, uh, you know, my hands, sometimes they, they are dry that's when it's the worst it's like it can take four seconds it's pretty bad and it can actually mismatch at the time and tell me no match but now my my finger is actually relatively uh dry but as you can see uh let's just turn it on and uh like this i mean it's it's incredible so basically again if you want to check for the updates if you have it it's in the galaxy store just launch the galaxy store and let it uh, leave it open for a second okay just leave it open for a second for me the moment I hit the Galaxy Store, once the interface loaded up, the, the, I heard the notification sound, it was here, you click on it, update, and I didn't even have to re-enroll my fingers, I did not have to do anything. I mean, the phone just instantaneously, and as you can see, I mean, the thing is like, it, it works beautifully. Uh, again, you know, once you try, I mean, it's, it's, it's beautiful. So again, if you want to make it even faster, you can disable always on display. I like always on display, so I'm not really going to do that for the animation that, uh, that, that actually it shows down here that you can see, you can disable that one if you want to, as I showed you in the settings, if you don't like it, but again, I mean, the phone from, from a state of sleep of nothing, I mean, you just hit it. And again, the phone just starts up. It's fantastic. So again, this has been just a walkthrough of the, uh, the new update. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button, like button, notifications for new updates and see you in the next one.